my name is Jessie Baker. This is Jutta Steiner. Hi, hey. hi, hi. <laughs> um, we spoke uh, very impromptu at a previous Ethereum meetup, and it's um, nice to be invited back to do a slightly longer presentation about our project, which is called Provenance. Um, you can find us on Twitter at Provenance HQ, and we really appreciate your thoughts and comments as we go. So, every single product has a story. From the shirt you're wearing to the house you live in, each of them have been on a journey of people, of places, and of raw materials. And some of those product stories are pretty tragic. We saw a uh, garment factory collapse in Bangladesh, um, the effects of climate change some might attribute to our behavior as consumers, the horse scandal, the list goes on and on. Yet rarely do we know much about the stories behind the products we look at when we go shopping. We find it quite difficult to make a positive choice, yet some companies are taking steps to make more socially and environmentally positive products. And every day, things exchange hands. Priceless objects that feature in museums and in art galleries sometimes change hands with little more than a paper certificate. There we go. Um, and the materials in our physical world are increasingly getting more precious as we rip the Earth's crust through all the raw ones and we start to look around the world to see if there are any others that we might be able to turn into new products. Increasingly, it becomes more and more useful to be able to track our materials as they uh, uh, come into no, no longer being needed due to things such as plan obsolescence. So at Provenance, we're building a platform to look at this look at how we might make our product supply chains more transparent. And the project was hugely motivated by looking at how we make decisions as consumers. We often buy things based on price and aesthetics and perhaps functionality, but rarely do we buy things based on whether the company pays tax or the wages that people got in the creation of the product. So um, initially we found a problem to build digital tools for the good guys, the pioneering businesses that do have a story to tell that's a little bit more positive, or that are taking steps to make their story more positive and therefore want to talk about it. So tools to help the pioneering businesses, the ones that want to show their supply chain is good. But there was a bit of an issue in that having a... Sorry, see if I can... There we go. Um, yeah, it, it, it works for small companies, and we've already been working with several thousand small independent creators of products who all have relatively simple supply chains in the grand scheme of things, and therefore weren't really squirming too much about making their supply chains more transparent in order to convey the value of their products to consumers like you and me. However, when you look at large companies, and we start to think about mass, large-scale transparency of products, there becomes to be a bit of a problem larger companies uh, don't really see the competitive advantage of revealing their full supply chain. In fact, some might say the asymmetry of knowledge of companies like Unilever and like BP, humongous companies, is um, what keeps them competitive. So we found this issue with not being able to make the supply chains fully transparent for larger companies um, and the need to have some kind of pseudo-anonymous methods as we transfer products through supply chains, but still would like to be able to find out certain attributes, such as whether products are organic or whether they've got a fair trade certification. So then we discovered DAT and Ethereum and the blockchain, <laughs> and realized that there was a key to fit our lock of supply chain transparency. Um, and that's really where we're at right now, which is looking to speak to the pioneers that really wants to change the game for everybody. Um, and we're starting to imagine and actually create now a digital guarantee for products that provides total authenticity and accountability, least traceability for products. And we're working across a number of different sectors from super precious things like art and diamonds all the way to quite abundant things like tea and coffee. Um, and we believe that the blockchain particularly can be a real step change technology that can seriously affect um, how we understand our material world and how much we know about certain things we buy and how stakeholders within a supply chain understand the large value web they're in. Okay. Do you have a... mm -hmm. 
<laughs> right. So this is where we are. So we are currently, um, we started building a decentralized application built on Ethereum to track our material um, things that we surround us, uh, that we yeah, have around us. So we're using the Ethereum blockchain. Um, So uh, this is a bit small, I'll, I'll read it out. So what, what's the actual benefit? So we think it's an ideal tool to achieve um, full end-to-end -end supply chain transparency, like a seamless method to track and record the data, the transactions, whatever happens along the supply chain. It's an ideal tool to guarantee full authenticity, um, where the products come from, what story is behind them. And it's also a really good tool to um, track our material asset bank that's around us to track material value and make sure that materials are fed back into the loop after the lifetime of a product. So, let's go back. So, how does it work? So, each stage of the product is, of the product's life cycle is locked onto the blockchain um, along, um, along the life cycle. Um, with unique digital tags, um, signatures, most of you might know how it works. Um, so it's a set of things that um, come into this ecosystem. So the blockchain, signatures, um, smart contracts, um, but also we need to link kind of this, these dumb material things um, with unique um, digital tags. Um, so yeah, each and everybody as an actor in the supply chain will um, sign um, whatever happens along the supply chain um, and gradually this will form a, a chain of custody um, along, um, along the chain. Uh, so um, it's probably um, instructive to look at a um, use case. So um, it's an easy one, it's uh, just a bicycle. Um, but what might be of interest um, to a customer in the end? So for example, the actual grade of, of steel that goes into the bicycle might be important or further onwards. Um, right. Further onwards, the, the welding, how, how is the bike actually um, assembled um, at the manufacturer? Um, uh, what, what's happening in the shop? And, and then finally, a customer might be interested in recording whatever happens along the, the usage time of the bicycle, so whether it's been serviced properly, um, parts exchanged, because the user might want to um, either rent out the bicycle or, or sell it afterwards to another, to another friend. Um, so. Right, so um, uh, we think provenance is for companies um, that look for a leap in, uh, in progress um, and want to build on, on the blockchain um, and who are interested in the honest um, story behind the product. So, um, but where are we actually? So we've done um, some user experience design, we've done some wireframing, um, we've done some basic um, contract coding, um, some really basic prototype. Um, right, um, and now we are basically looking to, to take this more um, seriously. So we, Jesse and I met basically last May um, at a small makers conference in Berlin. Um, basically, at the same time, um, finally, when I also came across Ethereum, which was a kind of a lucky coincidence, um, Jesse had already been thinking about the blockchain, um, how to use it. Um, and then we started um, looking for serious funding, and it's, um, uh, we're quite excited that we just got money awarded by the European Union and also the uh, Technology Strategy Board for building this app. Um, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is, I think, um, where other people come in. So we're looking um, for partners, um, makers that want to pioneer um, this technology with us. Um, but we're also looking for an expansion of our team for developers, designers. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so we can't get out of it. Um, cool, yeah, so we're looking for some extra people to come and join us on this adventure as we've just got um, some money in the bank. Lots of money in the bank. Right. <laughs> um, and <laughs> we, um, yeah, we've got the idea of bringing a whole new 
set of people, a whole new set of stakeholders to Ethereum and Adapt World <coughs> that um, probably haven't made use of, um, of what it can do until now. Um, and we believe it can be a real catalyst for social change, which is super exciting. So we'd love to hear from you. Um, please send us a message, get in touch, and yeah, we're, we're around all night, so come say hi. Thank you very much.